Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm back here with another video. I have to apologize. I'm sorry. It's been quite some time since I uploaded last, but I had some issues with this car once again a couple days after I filmed my last upload. But before we get into that, I do have to tell you guys, I am finally upgrading to a GoPro Hero 8. I've recently, or you guys wouldn't even know this, but I actually film on a Hero 5, I believe. So before I get way too into this, let's switch to the new camera. Hopefully you guys will notice a difference, but yeah, let's just, let's just switch, let's just switch. And just like that, we are on the new camera. You guys notice the difference? Is it a little bit better for you guys? Better quality? I don't know, maybe. When I was fiddling it with a little bit, I did notice on the Hero 5, the light really doesn't come through or it's more like exposed. I, I really don't know camera terms, but I, I feel like this quality is a lot better than the Hero 5. But like I was saying, this car had to go back down to IAG because I was having some issues with the clutch pedal once again. Now I say once again, because when I picked this car up the first time, uh, the clutch was like a little loose. I would say it just it didn't it didn't feel right to me and then a week later the clutch pedal was sticking um so i'll get into it fully on what had to be done with this car but it really got me thinking i don't want this to be an update video on the car um this being my first ever you guys see that hold up hold up i just noticed this this is my wheel key hold up okay i gotta get that off somehow oh my goodness if I would have lost this, holy crap, I'm sorry, this is a squirrel moment, but if I would have lost that, I would be crap out of luck. But like I was saying, um, I don't wanna be standing here and just be doing an update video for you guys. Um, what I really wanted to do is, this was my first ever issue, main issue with the car. So what I wanna do is, I'm gonna be doing a POV driving and I'm gonna be sharing my experience with Subarus and their reliability because I've been asked quite a few times on are these cars reliable? Are they worth the price? Yada, 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 so on and so forth. So I'm gonna be making a video on the reliability of Subarus with my experience. Now, obviously you guys are gonna have different experiences. Every car has their issues. Not every car is the same. I want that to be clear first and foremost but let's get into the car and let's get driving all right getting onto the road here we're going to be talking about super reliability like i said but i want to reiterate that everything i'm about to say is my experience it's my opinion i'm not speaking for everyone obviously some people are going to have more issues some people are going to have less issues and some people are going to have different issues so i just want to say right here right now that i'm not speaking for everyone this is my opinion, my opinion, my experience. So I just want that to be known because I know how YouTube comments are. They hear or they see a video of someone giving their opinion and they're like, oh, well, my car never did that. Or it's like, oh, well, well, I'm never gonna buy a Subaru ever again. Da, 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 da. That's, how, that's how I kind of, I, I picture people sound on YouTube comments. So I just want this to be known. Like if you have a different opinion, opinion experience, I totally respect that, but this is just my experience. So to get everyone up to speed on my car, because I don't know how big this video is gonna be, I don't know who's gonna watch it, but just to get everyone on the same page, I'm just gonna be going over a super quick overview on by the time I bought the car to now, everything I've done to it, every issue that I had, just so everyone is well aware on everything that has happened to this car. So I bought this car in September of 2017, I believe. I bought it with 201,000 miles on it, nothing done to it, it was completely stock. And over the course of two and a half years, I put 61,000 miles on it. And that's because I absolutely love driving it. Granted, it is my only car, but regardless, I absolutely love driving this thing. It's treated me well, it was super reliable, but that's not to say it did not break because obviously it did. I've fixed numerous things on this car. I fixed calipers, I have fixed ball joints, I fixed valve cover gaskets, turbo coolant reservoirs, um, multiple hoses because they were just old and worn out. You know, they were super brittle, so I had to fix them. Um, other than that, I've replaced a couple of O2 sensors simply because I needed to because of 
the modifications I put on my car and I did not get a tune for it. So obviously O2 sensors went out. I want to say that and make it clear that the O2 sensors were 100% my fault just because I was just too poor and too lazy to get a tune for the car. Other than the issues I've caused with this car, never once did I have to take it to a garage. Never once was it so serious where I just couldn't throw it in my garage and fix it in like two days. So all in all, this car, super reliable. It was super good to me. I've took it on numerous out of state drives, even with no tune on this car. I've took it on so many eight hour, 10 hour, 12 hour plus drives. And it's never really given me an issue. Um, I wouldn't say I drove this super hard, but I also wouldn't say that I babied the crap out of this thing either. So in my opinion, you know, every car is different. I really can't say our Subaru's reliable, are they not? Because, you know, it just really depends on how they were maintained, you know, who was driving them, how they were driving them, and just so on and so forth. From my experiences and in my opinion, I absolutely love them. They're super reliable, super fun cars to drive, and I'll probably buy a lot more in the future. But like I said, again, this was just my car. Um, it just, you just have to be smart with whatever car you're driving. And that's not just with Subarus. You really just have to be smart and not impulsively buy just because you like the car. It's gotta know what you're looking for, know the red flags and just be super cautious on whatever you're buying. So I'm gonna be moving topics here just for a second. And let's just do, oh, let's just do a little bit of a Polsky. Ah! That was super slow. I was like quarter throttle. But like I said, we are going to be moving on topics to this car going down to IAG, what broke, what I fixed, the bill, so on and so forth. And if you just stop by to get my opinion on the reliability of Subarus and you don't want to stick around for the rest of the video, obviously on your way out, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as well or if you want to check out a couple of my other videos to make sure you want to hit that subscribe button but i highly recommend you do getting on to what actually was done to this car so obviously you guys know i took it down to ieg performance down in maryland um and when i dropped it off and they you know did whatever they had to do they ended up diagnosing that the throw up bearing went out in my car just said eat sayonara i'm done adios you know goodbye basically so the one part they had to fix was obviously the throw up bearing and since the transmission was out I decided to change the flywheel or they changed the flywheel uh, clutch. Uh, they fixed the rear main seal because obviously it was leaking. They fixed other leaks in my car that I really didn't even realize that I had. But they've also replaced the axle. Now the axle wasn't broken but they said the boot was ripped and I knew the boot was ripped but I don't know how long it was ripped for, so I just ended up replacing the whole entire thing in general, just peace of mind, basically. So they ended up replacing that, uh, numerous hoses, uh, lines, slave cylinder. Um, they replaced the trans and diff fluid, just, you know, everything, everything basically, since the trans is out, just replace everything, basically. Now that was the first time my car went down to IAG. Now the second time it went down, they ended up replacing the master cylinder and also the Y pipe under my um, top mount. Because another thing that I noticed when I picked it up the first time is every time I would go over like five pounds of boost, my car would just end up breaking apart basically. And I didn't know why, I couldn't diagnose it. I looked everywhere for boost leak and I just couldn't find anything. So they ended up replacing the Y pipe and she boosts fine now. She drives absolutely fine and I just, it's just great. It's absolutely great. All in all, everything done to this car, parts and labor, I was stuck with a $3,100 bill. How oh, live in Pennsylvania, they said. It'll be fun, they said. You know, some people visit Dutch country in Pennsylvania because they're like, oh, we get to see tractors on the road and we get to see horses pulling buggies. Let me tell you something. Living here, terrible. You're dodging horse poop. And let me tell you, Sundays, uh -huh, you better not be on the farmland roads because ho oh, oh, ho, there are horse and buggies everywhere. So yes, $3,100 is what I owe. As you guys know, I don't have a lot of money. And uh, now I have zero money because 
yeah, it went to fixing this car. So that is why the aftermarket stuff on this car really kind of slowed down. It's just because all in all, it took two months for everything to wrap up, you know, from the time my car broke to making an appointment to my car being down there, bringing it back, going back down. It's just, it's been absolutely crazy. Um, I have been looking um, for some stuff that I want to do to this car. Um, when I will be acquiring those parts, I really don't know, but parts are coming for this car. So guys, obviously stay tuned for that. Oh, we gotta hit the apex boys. Oh, we're gonna hit the apex. Well, I'm not really gonna, cause I don't wanna go into another, another lane. We're gonna, oh, goose it. and it pisses me off but let me tell you something ha -ho! when she runs right oh bessie i absolutely love this car Hello. i don't know if you guys can hear that maybe you can maybe you can i don't think it, the gopro is going to pick it up but my turbo does the little noise and I absolutely love it obviously you guys can't experience it but like I can and that's that's really all that matters and here we are ending it where we started now to sum everything up ladies and gentlemen Subarus in my opinion are reliable obviously you just got to be cautious of the red flags cautious of the maintenance who's been driving it so on and so forth but all in all i really believe subarus are reliable or can be reliable regardless of the fact that i spent 3100 dollars to fix this car i believe subarus can be reliable super fun cars and i can't wait to own more in the future but ladies and gentlemen that is gonna end today's video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of a pov driving i tried to mix it up other than me just standing here and yammering for you know 10 minutes or whatever so hope you guys enjoyed the pov driving if you did obviously make sure you leave it a like if you guys are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and as always guys i'll see each and every one of you in my next upload